Hey everyone, it's me, Carlo, Carlo Libertini, and today we're going to unbox my new Spire, the mobile recording studio by the great folks at Isotope. I'm super excited about this. If you have not heard about Spire yet, or you're curious about it, well, we're gonna do this together. And I'm already really impressed by this. The packaging is amazing, and the company is amazing. Now, Isotope is famous for world-class audio production software. So I assume that their first foray into hardware here will be no less impressive. And we're gonna do that together. So let's open this right now and let's get it started. Let's get it up and running. Okay, so, oh yeah. Take the wrapper off here. And there's a lot of information right on the outside to help you get started a little bit more information with this. Now it interfaces with your mobile device, whether you're using a smartphone or a tablet, uh, and that's really cool. And this is it. Nice, check it out. All right, mm, new gear smell. Let's pop it out. Oh yeah, so my first impression so far, packaging is first class. It's uh, really well packaged. It's hefty. It's got some nice heft, it's round, and at first glance, clearly there's a, a microphone in the front here, a high quality Omni microphone from what I understand, and a headphone jack. And you're gonna get some metering on both sides of this. This'll help you with your recording levels and playback levels. There's a record button, play button, new song, sound check, and volume. As I said, this uh, syncs with your mobile technology, so you can use it. This is kind of like a remote control in a lot of ways with what you're recording on the application, which we're gonna look at in a lot of ways. We're gonna look at that real soon. Uh, dig into that. There's another headphones jack in the back, and we've got two combo jacks. These, these are called combo jacks because they accept both um, XLRs and line level inputs. And there's a switch for phantom power for microphones that need it. And you can use your own microphones. And from what I can see here, if you're using both microphones, if you plug a microphone into line one here, into input one rather, it'll disconnect the Omni microphone in the front. So you can actually record stereo with your own microphones if you choose to do that. Or if you and some friends have some microphones, you wanna get together and make some demos. Or if you could just use the Omni one in the front, that's fine. So you got quite a bit of flexibility for such a small piece of hardware. And here's our power switch. Now, as I said, Isotope is primarily famous for outstanding world-class audio production software. And so far, my first impression, I'm pretty impressed. And I really would love to know more about how it works, how it interfaces. You can use this as a standalone. You don't need to sync it with your mobile device or your tablet. You can literally record and store all your audio right directly onto this. And what we'll do now, is let me uh, plug this in, let's fire it up and connect it to my iPad and check it out. Okay everyone, I booted up my Spire and as you can see, the input meters are already registering the sound of my voice through this microphone here. I also downloaded the Spire software onto my tablet and I connected it. All you need to do is go through a simple process of finding it on a Wi-Fi network. It acts as a broadcast uh, signal, like a, like a router would. And then you register and you're good to go. And it gives you this connected sign. All right, so let's start a project and check out the, uh, the process here. Now, my level's already coming in. I'm gonna press sound check. And what this is going to do is automatically set an input level for me. And this is great, for example, if you're doing like a podcast right now or an interview or even playing any instrument at all. It's going to give you an optimum input level because you don't want to be too quiet and you don't want to be too loud. All right, let's start recording something. Testing one, two, one, two. This is the Azure Spire. My name is Carlo Libertini and I am really loving this thing. <laughs> it seems... It seems really cool, so sleek and easy to use. All right, let's stop it there. And there we have it. Now, you can, oh look, you can also sign an icon, make that a vocal. 
Interesting. You can apply some effects. There we go. What you're going to do is swipe here where you have the level bar coming up. If you select that and swipe, we have effects. I've got none selected right now. Here's some amp simulations. Great for guitar work. Some, spa uh, some more amps. Here we go. Wow, quite a few. Spaces. This will give you some kind of reverbs and ambi ambience. Again, wow. And pedals. Get some cool tones going in. All right, so if I wanted to select like a spaces, for example, and hit OK, and it's going to apply that effect on my voice. It's giving me a notification to connect headphones for a better listening experience. Because the audio is actually playing through the, the spire now. Here's our headphones jack in the front and in the back. So far, this thing is super easy to use. Now, keep in mind, this is going to give you eight individual tracks of audio that you can start recording to and then mixing. Here's a metronome, if you're doing some music, and mixing. Here's the microphone icon in track one. You can pan to the left or right, bring it lower or more forward in your mix. You can even switch it to uh, mono or stereo. Oh boy, I can really see the advantage of this with having a lot of tracks and uh, having a little fun with this really creative way to mix on a tactile surface like your, your tablet. And there's a project. Now it's important, I also want to note that the Spire comes with a rechargeable battery. And from what I was told, it'll last you anywhere between four to six hours on one charge. Makes it super handy to want to just uh, Take it with you anywhere you go. Also included in the box was not only the charging cable, but this handy little get started guide. Some information for you to take with you. But as you can see, it's pretty, pretty easy. Let me tell you, I downloaded the app, I connected, registered, and we're making music. I mean, we are recording right now. So there's a lot more features and, um, I got a lot more information, so let's jump into that and start talking some more details. All right, so as you saw, it was a little too easy. I'm super impressed, but that's what technology should do for people today. Make things easier to use while getting better quality than ever before. And I think Isotope really captured that with their first hardware device here, the Spire. But being an audio engineer myself, I just couldn't take things at face value. I needed to know more about what's going on here between this device and my tablet. And for example, where does my audio go? What's the bit rate? So I called the good folks at Isotope and I asked them a few questions. And it's nice to know you can call a great company like that and actually talk to people and get answers right away. So to clarify, the default recording sample rate is it's going to be recording at 24-bit, 48 kilohertz. That gives you a lot of headroom, very quiet recording, and a very high-quality recording. It's kind of a kind of a popular industry standard today. So it's 24-bit, 48 kilohertz. And let's see. I was talking about um, where the audio goes. It was a little bit of a mystery to me, and they were able to help demystify that for me. Apparently, when the unit syncs with your smartphone or your tablet, the audio lives in two places. It's a bit of a hybrid recording device. It lives here, you have storage, onboard storage, and you can record up to two hours um, thanks to the latest update to the software. Previously, I, they told me it was one hour. Now it's up to two hours of direct recording here. And <clears throat> that will live here on the unit. Then what the Spire does is when you connect it to your tablet or mobile device, it'll sync and it'll live in both places. It'll be on your tablet in that example and live here. Then what the Spire will do is a bit of intelligent auto housekeeping. It'll delete the oldest files or the ones that it's you know certain have been backed up and they're on your tablet already. So by doing that automatic intelligent housekeeping, you don't have to worry about opening up some, uh, some other settings or, or some, some subfolder menu device looking for how to clean up your Spire. 
And that again goes back to the advancements in audio technology and how the creative people at Isotope have literally worked that all out and built it into this device. So I'm really, really happy about that. And another question I had was about the microphone. Clearly it's a very high quality microphone, but it's an omnidirectional microphone, which means it's less sensitive to plosives. When you're close to a, a cardioid microphone in particular, you record a lot of the p, the p's and the consonants can really be harsh and brash sometimes. But Omni microphones are, are a lot less susceptible to that, but not immune. If you are going to record closer than one foot, which is the recommended vocal recording distance, then I think it's perfectly fine to use a pop filter. And clearly, let your ears be the judge. Just listen back, and if you're happy with the results, that's great. So, my first impressions, I'm really excited about this. I think Isotopes come up with a real winner here. It's small. I can throw it in my gig bag, my backpack. I can take it with me on vacation. I can use it to record live performances. I can uh, do some songwriting, some demos with my band, some singer-songwriting stuff as well. Maybe even podcasting and, dare I say, audiobooks. So, that's my first impression of the Isotope Spire. But as I always say, you know, the best way to find out is for yourself. So stay busy and stay creative, everyone, and thanks for watching.